while boarding a plane flight attendants approached a female passenger and threatened to kick her off the plane if she didn't cover her lewd outfit. However, the woman has since complained, claiming there is nothing distasteful about her dress in the slightest. When Playboy model and social media influencer E.J. Marie attempted to board her Southwest Airlines flight from Texas to Oklahoma, she donned her typical wardrobe. However, before she could even get comfortable for the trip, she was soon surrounded by airline staff members. Just like any private enterprise, airlines reserve the right to implement policies on everything from behavior to choice of clothing. As the nation's largest domestic air carrier, Southwest Airlines has quite the list of rules and regulations passengers must follow if they want to maintain a seat on its aircraft. According to the Mirror, Eve claims that she was confronted by several flight attendants who requested that she step off the plane with her 7-year-old son. The 26-year-old model says that the crew pointed to her outfit, stating that it violated the airline's dress code policy concerning lewd, obscene, or patently offensive clothing. The policy outlines violations, such as engaging in lewd, obscene, or patently offensive behavior, including wearing clothes that are lewd, obscene, or patently offensive. Eve was wearing a slinky, skin-tight leopard print dress with a plunging neckline and halter top. The back of the dress also plunged to her panty line, leaving little of the busty model's physique to the imagination. When they threatened to remove me off the plane if I didn't have a change of clothes, I felt completely humiliated, embarrassed, and highly offended," Eve said. However, Eve says that she didn't bring any extra clothing with her on the flight. Fortunately, she claims that a kind stewardess apologized and offered up her own work jacket for Eve to wear so that she could remain on board with her son. I didn't have anything to change into so that same flight attendant gave me her work sweater to place on top of my chest. In the end, I was forced to sit on the plane in front of all the other passengers with her work sweater across my chest. This attendant advised me to contact corporate when I land, she said. Eve insists that there is nothing lewd or particularly revealing about her dress, adding that she was mistreated and judged by the flight crew. Instead of agreeing that the issue was with the size and cut of her dress, she accused the flight attendants of believing that her breasts are too large to board the plane. I'm an A-list member for SWA and have a credit card with the airline and I have perks that allow any person traveling with me to fly free because of my high status with the airline," she said. So even as being a loyal customer with them, I felt like the other women on the plane were judging me based on my attire and they were saying my breasts are too large. Well, that's something I can't help. Despite making it to Oklahoma, without further incident, Eve wasn't about to let the situation go unchallenged. She immediately contacted corporate and complained about the disturbance, once again insisting that her dress didn't violate the dress code policy pertaining to explicit clothing. Eve says she received a response and is awaiting a ruling on the matter. She also claims that she spends upwards of $60,000 with the airline each year and has already taken more than 32 trips in a matter of months. I was completely upset and embarrassed at how I was treated. Nobody could tell me what exactly their dress code policy was, she said. I called corporate and they apologized and awarded me $100 flight credit. They also wanted me to send in a documented email so they can investigate more, but I have not done that yet. Eve remains confident that the airline will side with her complaint. However, it is unknown whether the flight attendants were reprimanded for enforcing the policy, which is just vague enough to leave room for interpretation. Without a doubt, Eve's dress would be considered by some to violate the dress code. However, due to her preferred customer status and social media influence, there's a possibility that she will be given a free pass.